Hi, my name is Professor Dr. Tom Cherian. I'm a surgeon and an expert in liver transplantation. Many people ask me, what is a cadaver transplant and what is a living donor transplant? So the key is that a transplant means the bad or diseased non-functional liver is taken out and a new liver put in its place. Unlike kidney transplants, we all have only one liver and therefore it is always a, a dilemma as to how we achieve that. One source is what is known as cadaveric liver transplant. So people who had brainstem death due to let's say a road traffic accident. So the brain is dead and they are actually dead and they are being kept alive only because of ventilators. These patients we take out the liver and that is called cadaveric donation. So the family member is not involved and then they get put on to a waiting list and by strict rotation it is allocated to the right patient. A living donor transplant on the other hand is because there is a waiting list for cadaver transplants there is sometimes not enough time for the patient to wait until a cadaver transplant becomes available. In such situations, family members come forward and we take out part of the family member's normal liver, approximately 60%, sometimes even 65%, and we put it into the recipient or the patient who needs the transplant. This is called a living donor transplant and the liver regenerates in size back to almost 90-95% of its normal size within about six weeks. This is the wonder of creation. I hope this has explained this complex uh, situation. We have now an uh, excellent outpatient service for liver patients at South Bombay and I would uh, request anybody who is interested or has liver disease to take an opinion from us if they feel they need the need to.